everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Varun Kaushal and I am a legal intern at Lexis and Company. Today we are going to discuss about the topic dispute resolution mechanism under lease. The dispute resolution mechanism is an integral part of FD contract. It provides a way to solve the issue which may arise in the future. Some of the famous mechanisms are arbitration, mediation, conciliation, etc. A lease contract may also contain these dispute uh, resolution mechanisms which are now enforceable and if no mechanism is mentioned in the contract then the dispute can be resolved through arbitration. Lease is governed by the Transfer of Property Act 1882 and it is mentioned in the chapter 5 from section 105 to section 117 of the act. Meaning of technical words used in the article. First, what is lease? Section 105 of the Transfer of Property Act says when a right to enjoy any property is transferred in exchange for money or any other valuable thing for a certain period impl uh, impliedly or expressly by the transferor to the transferee is called a lease. Now what is right in REM? It means that the right is available uh, against the whole world. No one in the world can interfere in your right. For example, A has a house of which he has complete ownership. He has a right in REM concerning the house. No one can interfere in his right of ownership. Now what is right in personam? It means the right which is available against the person in this duty is imposed against the said single individual only. The Indian Contract Act grants rights in personam to the parties of a contract. So the parties of a contract have these contractual rights only against each other. For example, A loan money to C. The right to recover the money belongs only to B, not the world in general. Now what is competence competence doctrine? The doctrine of competence competence states that the arbitral tribunal has the jurisdiction to determine the scope and ambit of its powers. Uh, now what is arbitration? Arbitration is a legal mechanism encouraging settlement of disputes between two or more parties mutually by the appointment of a third party whose decision is binding on the parties referring to the said dispute. Um, now I'll talk about the history of tenancy landlord dispute. In 1981, in the case of Natraj Studios Private Limited versus Navarang Studios and others, the Supreme Court has observed that the issue between landlord and tenant is the issue of right and rem and it affects the public at large, hence the tenancy issues are not arbitrable. In 2011, in the case of Booz Ellen and Hamilton uh, versus SBI Home Finance Limited and others, the court held that a suit to enforce a mortgage must be decided by courts of law and not by arbitral tribunals. The court held that a suit to enforce a mortgage involved enforcement of a right in REM. In 2017, in the case of uh, Himangni Enterprises versus Kamaljit Singh Aluwalia, the Delhi High Court observed that the matter in issue uh, was a, of lease and lease is not covered by the Delhi Rent Act 1995, hence it came under the TOFA. Therefore, this matter must be decided by the civil court and cannot be sent to arbitration. Dispute Resolution Mechanism for Lease Supreme Court recently in the case of uh, Vidya Drulia and others versus Durga Trading Corporation cleared the fog from our uh, from the four decade old issue that is dispute of tenancy are arbitrable or not Supreme Court in his decision make uh, making a very very observe very key observation those are landlord tenant disputes are right in personam rather than right in rem and hence arbitrable but if the dispute relates to right in rem or the dispute affects the third party and requires centralized adju adjudication or the dispute rel uh, related to the sovereign or the public interest or the dispute specifically made non-arbitrable as per the statute, then it should be heard in the court. Supreme Court follows the competence competence doctrine and rule the arbitral uh, tribunal uh, is the preferred first authority to determine and decide that the dispute is arbitrable or not. Dispute of fraud is also arbitrable when they relate to the civil dispute. The court overturns his own decision in the case N. Radhakrishnan versus Maestro Engineers where a court ruled that a dispute of fraud cannot be referred for arbitration. The only exception will be the dispute which is governed by special rent control legislation like the Delhi Rent Act etc. Disputes which are to be adjudicated by the recovery of de uh, debts due to banks and financial institutions Act 1993 are non-arbitrable and thus setting aside from the full bench decision in the case of SDFC Bank Limited versus Satpal Singh Bakshi which uh, had held that such disputes were arbitrable. 
banks and financial institutions covered under the DRT Act have a specified rights, including the models, modes of recovery specified in the DRT Act. Therefore, it has held that the claims covered by the DRT Act are non-arbitrable. For intercompany disputes, the judgment states that they are rights in REM. By this direction, uh, Supreme Court rights to make uh, the entire category of intracompany dispute non-arbitrable. In conclusion, I'd like to say that disputes in a lease contract are quite common and they always end in a long, exhaustible and frustrating legal battle which costs tons of money and waste of valuable time of both courts and yours. Uh, Supreme Court judgment in the case of Vidya Drola and others versus Durga Trading Corporation size relief to many tenants and landlords who are indulged in long legal fights. Now they can go through the arbitration process and come to a reasonable conclusion fast. But this judgment needs to be read. But this judgment needs to be read with caution because it is not applied in every aspect of tenancy dispute. It covered specific provisions of TPA. This judgment doesn't make every dispute arbitrable. Disputes have an element of right in REM or other condition mentioned above are still non-arbitrable. I hope this video gives you a clear picture of the dispute resolution of the lease and answered all your legal questions. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you guys have more questions regarding the video, please do ask in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Like,